Now, Dan, I know for a fact, because I've spent a lot of time with you now, you, my friend, are a leader, all right? So when I look and I play this soundbite, I want to come from a leader of what your response is to the sheriff when he talks about this. Listen. As I said, I'm, I'm the sheriff. My name's on the door. The people responsible are the ones who took the calls and didn't follow up on them, as it was with the FBI, uh, as it was with, with, any, with any person. Leaders, cannot, leaders are responsible for the agency, but leaders are not are responsible for a person. Uh, I gave him a gun. I gave him a badge. I gave him the training. If he didn't have the heart to go in, that's not my responsibility. Dan, I'm going to tell you something. I've talked to a lot of police officers. This is what they are tired and fed up with, top brass and too many departments. What he basically just said is, I'm hanging you out to dry if you're my guy. I don't have your back. It's not on me. You go out there with your gun. It's on your own. And, and, and it has nothing to do with me. That's not leadership, Dan. Grant, he gave him a gun. He gave him a badge. And he gave him training. And all three of those things fail. You can't have it both ways, man. You can't give a press conference and say, I gave him the gun, the badge, and the training. None of those things were used. And then all of a sudden, you want to separate yourself from said gun, badge, and training? Grant, listen, this... Uh, really, man, I'm deeply... I'm, being, I'm trying to be careful here because I, don't, I really feel like I might be adding to the negative side of this, and I really genuinely don't. We have a productive channel here and I want to help. But this is ridiculous what's going on. Think about this, Grant. When you get a major drug bust in Broward County or elsewhere, who gives the press conference? The chief of police or the sheriff? They come out, they sit there, they take all the accolades for it. I'm sure they celebrate their guys a bit too, but they cite the training and the excellence of the department they lead to take credit and to get all the applause. And then when 17 kids die, you don't even have an ounce of humble pie, not a bit of it. You run out and you throw these, all these guys on the ball. Oh, no, I gave them. I just sent them out on their own. I'm not responsible for anything. And then you cite your, quote, amazing leadership. This is unbelievable. You know, when I was uh, a Secret Service agent on foreign advances, lead advances, when you're the lead, Grant, you're the lead. You're it. That buck stops with you. It drops right there. Your airport agent screws up that airport. You know who the special agent in charge goes to? He doesn't give a crap about that airport agent. He goes right to you, and he goes, hey, Bongino, over here right now. How'd that car get on the tarmac? You know what answer you never give? Ask the airport guy. That's the answer you never give, because you are done. You're out. You're off the detail. You're gone. You know, afterwards, if you screwed up in advance, they used to put out an email for everybody to see called Helpful Hints. You know what Helpful Hints was? If you screwed something up at a site where the president's life was at stake, unlike these kids who get no such helpful hints afterwards from this sheriff, you know what happened afterwards, Grant? If you screwed up a site, it was a list of your stupid mistakes. Helpful hints. Don't be an idiot and put the sandbags on this side so the president can trip. You know what everybody used to do? Oh, who did that? and they'd make sure they found the lead advance. You know what it was? It was a way to keep you accountable. People's lives are at stake. This isn't banking. This isn't a joke. This is real, man. These kids died. And you're talking about O.J. Simpson jokes? You think this is funny? My God. I mean, this is the most deranged case of horrible leadership. I I'm telling you, I've seen in my 15-plus years in law enforcement and all my time later in commentary. I can't believe it.